Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, the Lord has spoken with me about uh, the meeting coming up in Kisumu again. And uh, in this uh, latest conversation, I see two boys that were crippled. I see them get up and begin to walk. I see two boys that were crippled. The Lord brings them close to me. The two, the two boys, probably you're talking about 12 or so, maybe 8 to 12 like this, uh, totally crippled, born crippled. They get up and begin to walk. And then and, and, and they walk, you know, in this unbelievable situation. The, 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 the meeting was wild. And so there, there's going to be a massive visitation of the Lord in Kisumu. The Lord is continually and perpetually ministering to me about the healing and the big visitation of the grace that is going to take place, and the glory, the flow of the glory of the Lord that will take place as he brings his servant into the meeting. So this is going to be one historic meeting on the face of the earth. That means many, many, many cripples. It will overrun the meeting. Many cripples will walk. Many blind will see. Many deaf will hear. Many mute will speak. Many lame legs will be stretched and they'll be strengthened and turned and they walk. Many wheelchairs abandoned, many crutches abandoned, many bleeding diseases will stop, many wounds will dry up, many tumors will dissolve, cancers will dry up, blood conditions like leukemia, diabetes, hypertension, and the liver hepatitis, internal organs, the, the kidneys that were going through dialysis. Many, many conditions, including HIV, will be healed in this meeting that's coming up. This is going to overrun everybody. It's going to be a big shock to the nations of the earth when the Lord comes down to heal the people of this land. And I see a girl, I think there is a girl. I'm seeing a little girl, I think from another land. I don't know why I thought she came from the Middle East, uh, but... Uh, a girl who is also healed, I think there is a guest, I see the hair, she has done like a little afro or something like that. I don't know where she comes from, but she, someone comes from abroad that is also healed. So it's going to be a very big visitation. And so the only thing people can do now is to prepare in repentance, to adhere to righteousness, to continue focusing on this coming of the Messiah, to continue preparing their lives, because the moment of the grace of love is now. May those who have ears, may those who have ears that can listen to the words of the Lord, know that this is the hour of preparing for the visitation of the Lord. And this preparation to go to Kisumu is actually the preparation for us to go to heaven, for the church to be taken up. So these are the preparatory stages the church will go through these are the stages the church has to go through to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. As people prepare in repentance, people turn away from sin. I'm told there's a huge explosion of baptism all over the land. Now, these are the sanctification that the church needs to go through, simulating the entry into the kingdom of God, the final entry. Remember, all this builds up to the coming of the Messiah, my Lord, my Savior, and my Master. The Lord bless you. Kiss so much. Shalom.